is my 1982 Honda C70 Passport. It's got a bunch of mods done to it. Um, where do I begin? I took the stock 70cc engine out and I replaced it with a 125cc uh, four-speed manual Fang Hong. That was the name brand of it. It's basically a life and clone of the Honda engine. Um, done a few, you know, aesthetic mods to it, like a clear flywheel cover. Painted a cool design on the flywheel so you can see it when it's spinning. Uh, bought a set of piggyback shocks off of this guy, Thadam X. He's out of Newtonville, Ontario. Good guy to work with. I'm gonna go back to him and buy a few more parts in the next little while. Uh, let's see here. It's got a brand new headlight, brand new speedometer on it. It's got a really cool looking, uh, what do you call those bikes? The monkey bike or the gorilla bike, the Honda mini trail. It's got one of those aftermarket exhaust pipes off it. Makes it nice and loud. Nice little welds on it and everything. Needs to be cleaned up though, it's all filthy now. It's got a custom cowhide seat. A buddy of mine made that for me. Thank you. Uh, cool custom aftermarket glittery grips on it. When I got the bike, I had 7,659 kilometers on it. And then since then I've put 2,339 kilometers on it. Original speedo was broken, so that's the reason for the replacement. Um, I added a little utility accessory, you know, 12 volt outlet, 5 volt USB outlet, just to charge my phone or anything if I need. If I need it. It's got uh, all new brakes, front and rear, new tires, front and rear. It's got repaired the gas tank. It's got a brand new battery in it. Had to repair the tail light. Almost all the chrome on it. I painted black, the rims, the racks, up here, up here, around here, just to make it look a little more modern. Um, as you can see here, the air filter for the new engine just barely clears the front fender. That's just temporary for now until I get that fixed, but I'm probably just gonna get lazy and leave it the way that was. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <clears throat> anyway, back over here, let's say one more thing. Um, oh yes, oh yes, I've been trying to point this out. I've been wanting to make a video about this for a while. The uh, factory electronics, the bike, do not mesh with the new engine. Um, <clears throat> there is a way to get that, you know, Get, to get everything to work. Um, in the near future, next time I get this cover off, I will uh, make a video and I'll show which wires you gotta connect. It's fairly straightforward if you know what you're doing. You just gotta, well, know what you're doing. Um, and one more thing, new engine is a fully manual four speed stock engine. 70cc semi-auto. This I purchased off of a, I think it was a 1983 or 1984 Honda Elite 50 scooter because they come with a left side brake lever. These bikes do not have a left side brake lever and if you try to put a fully manual engine in there you'll have no clutch lever. So I got one of these. All, almost all the wiring for this matches the bike except for I believe it's the headlight wiring but it's pretty straightforward if you have a multimeter and if you have a slight know-how of electronics just install that run the, the clutch cable up to it goes from a brake to a clutch pretty straightforward everything works on it high low beam neutral light turn signals horn <laughs> brake lights Everything works. Uh, this new motor doesn't have a starter on it, so all you hear is a click, click, click. Because I have the, I have it still hooked up, but I just have the um, starter wire just taped up and out of the way. 
I want to hook it up to something cool like a buzzer or something just to make a cool sound. And yeah, I'll try to do a quick startup of it. Let's hope I don't drop my camera. looks kind of cool when you're driving down the road. I don't know. I thought it'd be cool to get. It's all right. Yeah, that's it in a nutshell I plan to make many more videos with this bike in the near future uh, before winter time hopefully and if the weather complies suddenly it went from a serious drought and high extreme temperatures to now rather cool but rainy and windy so we'll see how it goes for the rest of the year hopefully I'll make a lot more videos until then see ya